Spark Notes translation. It's true that while Dante went to hell, I made my own hell in the form of a spectacular midlife blow up. My agent forbade me from doing this play. That's right. He said, You're nuts, Caroline. It's hard enough to get jobs for actresses over 40, and now you're playing a menopausal woman. <laughs> he cannot find out about this. Yeah, don't worry, he doesn't go to theater anyway. That's true. But just in case, okay, you guys, really, I mean, please don't let this get out. I told my agent I was thrilled to play a middle aged woman. As an actor, I love an opportunity to stretch. <laughs> And as the sandstorm continues, for several hours, I'm not kidding you guys, this is a freak sandstorm. It made the front page of the New York Times. Like, well, as it, this heavy silence falls over the crowd, 300 of us sitting, heads down in the wind. We soon all become covered in white, like Butoh dancers. I'm telling them how madly in love I am with Charlie, how I think about him all the time. That's exactly how I felt about Simon. Oh, the traveling theater teacher. The gay traveling theater teacher. <laughs> I totally misread that. Oh. <laughs> Charlie definitely isn't gay, and I can't focus, I can't write, I just can't do anything. I mean, I literally feel crazy, you know, like a teenager. I mean, it's really that kind of love, crushy, stupid, intense. Totally surreal. Well, of course. You're in a storm, a hormonal storm. I am? What hormonal storm? Welcome to menopause, darling. <laughs> oh, you poor, poor thing. Get her a cocktail. Oh, sad woman, very sad, alone, and almost 50. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, I throw my coffee cup. It's a public radio pledge drive one. <laughs> Fresh air with Terry Gross. <laughs>